Hi guys, welcome to part four of this video series where we're making this signet ring. So we have actually not only made the ring, we've got it hollowed out, and now we just need to soften this sharp edge right here. Again, we'll look at it from the side view and you can see that we've got like a knife edge going on in here. So when the customer is uh, putting their finger through the, through the ring, as they're going here, this is going to act kind of like a, almost like a knife blade and could literally, literally cut them. Now the finishing process would probably round that off a little bit, but the finishing process on the inside of the ring is not very intense. So, uh, because they're not trying to make the inside of the ring look, you know, super shiny or anything. Um, they will polish here, but not so much in here. So, uh, this may not uh, round off very much. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, it would be great if we could run the fillet command, but it's, it's, I can guarantee you it's not going to work. Um, we will try, a point 0.3 might work. We'll run a point 0.3, but this, but I don't want point 0.3. I want, um, 0.7 and even 0.3 didn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're, we're going to have to do this manually. Basically, is what's happening here. So we're going to come to Curve Tools and uh, we're going to do dupe, the Duplicate Edge command. And we're just going to click on these, going all the way around, selecting the edges. And then we're going to hit enter and we're going to join those curves. Now, if we just, we're going to run the pipe command and we're going to give it a 0.7 millimeter radius, not diameter, but radius. If we run that, we're going to probably run into some issues down here. Uh, yes. So this is not going to work for us right now. I'm going to hit control Z. The first thing I want to try is rebuilding that curve, but that is probably not going to be enough either. So if I rebuild this with a hundred points, and run the pipe command. So it is a little better, uh, but we're getting a little bit of an intersection here. Actually, it's a lot better, but the pipe is intersecting itself right here. And there's really not much we can do about that with the curve anymore. What we're gonna have to do, is I'm, gonna, I'm gonna isolate this vis visually. So this is all that we can see. I'm gonna come into the side view here. And uh, what we're gonna need to do is you know, right, right here in this area, we're getting that intersection, right? Like right there, we're going to draw a line on one side of, I'm going to delete this. We're going to draw a line here on one side of that intersection and here on the other side. And I'm going to mirror both of these lines around. I'm going to select this pipe and we're going to split it with uh, these four lines. Now, uh, because I was in the side view, that split actually went all the way through and uh, and cut out you know the the sections on both sides so we're gonna delete all of those and we'll delete these lines we don't need them anymore and we're gonna blend surface blend between this surface and this surface and between here and here That may still be an issue. Let me see. Yeah, I don't like this kind of wrinkle we're getting here. So I'm just going to lock that and kind of pull that in a little bit. But I'm not liking that either. Let's see. I think what it is, I'd like to have the seam of this pipe on the inside here. Let's see if I can move that. And just to guarantee symmetry, I'm going to delete this and uh, I'm going to draw a line across the halfway point looking down and I'm going to use that line to trim 
uh, these little pieces here. And we'll do the same thing this way. I'll split that with that line. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. I'll split this with that line. And uh, we'll actually just mirror, the, we'll just worry about doing it in one section and mirroring it around. So that way you only have to get one one section right. And there's something weird going on here with a seam as well. So I think I think what we'll do for that is we'll just cut this up a little bit higher to cut, get rid of this weird seam uh, that's right here. And we'll move, the, we want the seams matching, so we'll move this seam up to here. We'll try that and see what kind of results we get. So I want to blend uh, from here to here. Yeah, that is that is giving pretty decent uh, pretty decent results. So we'll uh, connect all of these and join them, and then mirror them in this direction and join that, and mirror them in this direction and join that. bring the ring back and then we will select the ring and split it with this pipe here. We'll delete the pipe and we'll delete this piece that it uh, split out and then we'll use the blend surface command. Uh, we'll do chain edges and click here and here Oops, right here. And make sure that goes all the way around. It did. Now it says select second segment. Select segment. Ugh. Select segment for second edge. And so we'll do that here. It didn't come all the way around, so we'll go over here and click there and make sure it came all the way around. And it did. And our blend points are right here on this middle seam where I would like them to be. And this is probably going to be good just the way it is. It looks, that's looking good to me. So we'll go ahead and accept that. So now we just got a really soft, uh, you know, blend from the hollowed area to the inside of the ring. And here, this should be a lot nicer. So we go into the side view. You can see that's not, you know, the sharp point anymore. And they should still have a good millimeters worth of contact. And they do. So we're just going to select this and the hollow and the ring and connect that all together. And we should get a closed poly surface. And we did. Okay, so at this point, the ring is actually ready for manufacturing unless you needed to put some kind of decoration on the sides or the top or something. But you could 3D print this and, uh, and, and have it cast or whatever at this point. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, has to do with rendering the ring, which, um, you know, you could make that as simple or as complicated as you want, really. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to give a silver uh, texture to the outside, and then we're going to give uh, you know a polished silver texture for the outside, and we're going to do a textured, uh, you know, like dimpled texture for the inside. And so that's going to take a couple of minutes. We'll do that in part. Is it part five? I'm just going to click over here to. Yes, that will be part five. We're recording part four right now, so. So we'll, we'll do that in part five. 
So again, uh, thank you so much guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And uh, we will see you in part five, guys.